Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Money Steps. Today I'm going to show you how to chart this using the system to a system in the placing order for the buy stop limit order where the charting has been consolidating sideways for some while already. So they're expecting for the stocks to break out the resistance. So there's no need to keep on monitoring the stocks price whether it breaks out or not. So they utilize the system to a system in their trading. So Buy stop limits order is the tool they can use to a system to buy the breakout. So let's have a look. Uh, let's put in examples in the platform which is Maybank Online Stocks. So we log into the maybanktoyou.com.ny and we log in for the trade online over here which is stock investment platform. Key in, in the uh, username and password. So we access into the Maybank Online Stock platform. So uh, I'll pick an example in the uh, videos as an example. It's not a buy call, but example how to place in the buy stop limit order for the pending breakout stocks. So we have a look. Let's say we are searching for the stock on the right side. There is a column searching for stocks. We key in the stock. In this example, I'm going to buy for the Boston Plantations. You can key in BP B plant or you can key in the code 5254 as well so it was sorting out the stock that we similar to the BP so it was sorting out for it let's have a look on the Boston Plantation technical analysis in advance so over here this one is the simple technical charting analysis so you can see that the um, Boston plant has been rising from 70% to 120 and then it comes down to 93 cents so it's starting to consolidating sideways nearly a month over here. So we can see that uh, the resistance will be somewhere around 106 level. And I would say um, technical analysis wise. So uh, since the volume is drying out, it will be considered as a healthy consolidation retracement. So um, chartists may look into these stocks for the breakout for the resistance level. We would say somewhere around pending for the breakout consolidation is 1.08 level. So, um, charters may using the tool as stop buy stop limit order to a system in their trading. Let's go back for the uh, quotation speed plan. So, we right click the stock busted plan. We select for the buy. It come out for the order box, and we need to go for the option for the arrow on the top right side to select for the stop limits options. When we select for the stop limit options, you allow us to key in for the stop price at the middle. So let's have a look on it. So in this example, um, as per what I mentioned just now, we are pending for the backup for the booster plantation, which is 1.08. So we key in for the price of the yeah, stop price 108. And the order price is 108 over here with a 1000 unit booster plant. We are buying it at the price 108 when the last time price hit the stock price the order will go into the Busa stock exchange system for the matching purposes so um, of course our order price can be higher than the stock price uh, meaning that uh, we are sending the orders with a uh, buying range between the order price and the stock price so normally um, charters will utilize this type of stock limits order to a system in their trading so there's no need to keep on monitoring the stock whether it break out the resistance or not so they will go for the validities over here so we choose for the good queue deck meaning that I want to queue the order in the systems um, until one day maximum of 30 days in the systems so we select for the good queue deck meaning that I'm placing the order from today onward until the day that I specific in the uh, calendar on the right side so in this case, I'm queuing for the uh, next week until next week. So we're selecting for the order. Um, it come up for the order confirmation for us to verifications. So what we need to check on these things. Many people tend to skip the order confirmation, which is very dangerous. So I would say order confirmation is very important steps for the orders. So what we need to check over here is the uh, quantity, price, and the amount value for the orders. And the modality is a stop limits order, good queue date orders, and the stop price is what price. So, and then the order will be queued until when. Okay, so we proceed for the confirms, and then we check for the order status at the bottom top right side. 
and over here we can see that uh, the order that we have already placed in the systems so we notice that the um, by default the uh, order status table it doesn't come with the stock price so it's a bit difficult for us to cross check the details what we need to do is we go for the customized column here we click the icon customize column we click it we come up for the box for our option so over here we need to selecting for the stock price and we then we add it into the selected column so the stock price will move from the left to the right side so we can see that the uh, stock price will be in the column already so we select for the ok so we can see the stock price in the order status yep so um this is the formula you need to memorize i mean um the order price has to be equivalent or similar to the stock price and both this price has to be higher than the last time price the moment you key in the orders it's pretty much simple you you can recognize the stock price as a trigger price to sending your order okay once the last time price hit the stock price the system will send your order price into the system to the BUSA for the matching purposes okay hi if you like my video please do click like subscribe and the bell thank you see you bye bye